so much. Hello. Um, <laughs> oh, hey everyone, and welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian today, along with. Uh, the heck yes, Mike, Lieutenant Trujillo, at your service, and... Oh, uh, I see what happened. There we go. There we go. Apparently the source got put underneath the, the background. Uh, or, or at least the blackout background, so black ground for short. But yeah, welcome to a, a new side quest. So, uh, Noi to Love 2 Devolution. Now, there is a Noi to Love 1, but that was Konjak's first full ish game. And you can't get it on Steam, but you can download it from their site. The, the, the thing is, it plays in a resolution the size of a postage stamp. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we should this anyways. Oh, he sent me a screenshot, and I was confused what he sent me until I noticed after a while the game in the center of it all. Okay, I, I thought this game worked with the controller, but apparently it's not responding to it. Maybe I... actually, no, I had it on before, but oh well. Uh, let's see, Help Cap 12, background music and something crossed out. Uh, yeah, I don't think this game will take much time. We could be finishing it in a single stream, perhaps. We'll have to see. And hello there, Marco. How are you doing today? Hello, Marco! Okay. Let's see, let's do the tutorial just in case. You walk right to the left and right, or A and D. Always good to have options. Let's see. I think we skip this. Where we showcase yeah. the game. Yeah. Jump with W or up. According to standards, you duck with S. Remember, you can still run <laughs> while you're a duck. <laughs> okay, <laughs> run duck. Uh, let's see, Marco. What? I cannot hear you. Yeah, the intro of the music there is rather loud. Yeah. I almost myself tend to do that, you know. But yeah, this is the yeah, this is another game by the same developer who made or developers who made uh, Iconoclasts. Okay, this we have one of the Hillian's top game last year or year before. Yeah. Okay. You can jump the rings with that. Take it off. Press S or W or up down. Okay. I, I, I did it do I call close during our first year together? I think so. It was before the second year anniversary at least. Oh okay. yeah, that it definitely was uh, probably in our first year to, uh, uh, working together as friends here. I call close was the first favorite game of that year. Okay, we can also just speed to an enemy by clicking on them. Okay. Uh, I hope the game isn't too loud still, Marco. It's not too loud on my end. Uh, I only remember Iconic Lost and David Diver so far being the top game so far. I forgot you have others you put out there as well. Let's see, school is really boring. Okay, just for special moves, you hold the right mouse button and drag the mouse up. Okay, okay so a mouse based. Okay. Uh, yep. If it is of more comfort, you can also uh, just as well double tap. Okay. Always nice to have options like this. Yeah. You special move as much as you know, as much as you do no more punching. You can also hold down the left mouse button to charge an attack that fires towards. Okay. Uh, let's see. This game is really loud. It's like I'm at some concert and my friends are saying something. Okay. Oh, that actually got out there. Uh, okay. I'll just drop the volume of it a bit then. Let's see, advanced audio settings. You just restart the tutorial. Yep. Okay. Oh. Okay, is that better? Yeah, it sounds probably easier to hear from my end as well, but for a moment you 
boost the volume on my end. Okay, we can also put down a shield of sorts. Yeah, uh, anyways. Let, we'll figure this out as we go. So, yeah. Level 1 starts. Soda. Some kind of drinking and grinning the horde of robots appears to be attacking the city. Report to base so we can determine the severity of this potential threat. Up <laughs> there. Okay, just right off the bat, getting <laughs> shot at by a freaking helicopter. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that, that, I remember that this game is hectic with a double, with a, just all capital letters. Okay. And, yeah, we might be able to finish this in one stream or second. We'll see. It's supposed to yeah, be, not be that long. I, I... Yeah, but we have learned to not blind across that side. Yeah. Okay, only forwards. <laughs> okay, get rid of the big thing. Yeah. Now, I'm pretty sure this game isn't supposed to be hard in any way, or at least the beginning as all is as is yeah, typical in this sort of game. But we'll see how tough it may or may not get. Let's see. Uh, let's see, this game is five hours max? Okay. Yeah, for so far now we checked it up. It was apparently two hours long. Yeah, I think two and a half-ish, but yeah, still not long, which makes it perfect for a little side quest to just, uh, well, follow up after 20 episodes of Dave the Diver. Again, not saying that I yeah, disliked yeah. any of that, otherwise I would have stopped, like, at three episodes. Okay. Yeah. But we have had games we were not too happy about to have, have, to have Steam, and it was just a lot of trouble. Maybe it yeah. should have quit early on, and... Oh yeah, one of was about to say, I... forgot the name of... But I just remember that you do want to hear me mention that game's name. And which one would that be? The water one... Yeah, that was right, a game the yeah. only game so far we've actually just fully given up on, huh? Yeah, at the very uh, end, because the game breaking bug was at the very end. Yeah, that... Yep. Okay, what just happened to the boat? <laughs> he broke it. Uh, oh, hello. Uh, Gallant tree, rarities of yore... Uh, oh, come uh, on! Vacation <laughs> Holland, completely underwater. <laughs> oh, come yeah. the hell on. It's not like you were underwater for a moment there with your mic. Were you laughing that hard? Apparently. <laughs> a Heimdall space station. Are these just going to keep spawning, it looks like? Okay. Yeah, yeah, it looks like those things are just going to continuously spawn, so no use in fighting them. Oh yeah, I, I can yeah. see these people. When we finished, well, we had to abandon that other game at the very end, yeah. due to the game being blocked. Ah. It was more on a rare occasion where he was very much growling and almost roaring. Well, maybe not roaring, but... You were pissed. Yeah. I wish sure you had uploaded that one on YouTube. Could have been before we started uploading, but yeah, hydrophobia. The, the stupid thing about it is that the concept of the game and everything is good. It's just that even with a re release or remake or whatever you want to call it, they completely fucked it up. Like, yeah. It sounds more. It, it's more of a vanity project than a. A passion project. 
the difference being that, well, with a vanity project, something is going to get made, whether it's good or not. A passion project gets made, well, until it is good, or at least good enough. Yeah, and we had a lot of problems with that game all the way through, even. Yeah. But actually, yeah, I think we actually had started about... Yeah, we just started to upload things to YouTube, but that one... You were... Was, still, you were a bit de delayed and had it caught up. And you were a bit sloppy. Hello. <laughs> Immediately! <laughs> Mordecai Fluke. Oh dear. Okay. Oh, yeah, Again, it was early on we were still sloppy, and you just... Yeah, you just decided that you... I think you said you were not to upload it to YouTube. You feel like it would not be a, a good... Uh, I think just the entire series will not be fun to watch. Mm. Uh, um, uh, do you see on the ship all now? Yeah, Daisy. <laughs> this is a crude drawing. Okay. The uh, Mark, I hope you don't do this in your school books. <laughs> okay. Hey. Actually, now I'm getting just stupid ideas for our own ship. So let's uh, bust up the competition. I'm not really concerned. Okay. Oop. Hello, Double Lori. Ah, crap, of all people. Wait a minute, who the hell are you? I can't be bothered, I'm out of here. Hey, Zoda. Hmm, fantastic work as always. But victory is short. That was the cyborg Double Lori who just ran past you. She's been turning. Uh, she's been turned off for almost 100 years, just after the last darn army attack. Which is another problem. All of these crazy robots are in fact darns. But they, along with their creator, were vanquished by Noitu Love back then. But masses of them are appearing everywhere at alarming rates. Mr. Almond, sir? What is it, Dr. Tango? The entire district has turned into, <laughs> into a Victorian block or some such. That's just silly. <laughs> I can assure you it has happened. Man, what's with this day? All right, Zoda, we and the other green helmets will go. All of them? Well, this sounds like one hell of a serious matter. It's your decision, sir. Let's go, Zoda. Okay. Okay, that... I, I think something else happened again there. Because I have happened on the showcase. Uh, what then? One of these sentences sounded so much like you, I thought you read off script. <laughs> okay, like, also, That sounds like yeah. a series of problems or something like that. Mm. It sounded like a sentence you would say. <laughs> okay, also, Marco asked, do what? Uh, scribble in your books. Uh, if it, it, they were books he bought, then it's, there's a little wrong with that, but if they're public books, yeah, don't. Let's see. Large parts of the city have turned to places of the past. It defies all logic. There is no sign of Darnica's damnation, the Darn creator. For this, we must assume Dapalori is somehow responsible for these events. Uh, also, uh, yeah, I think these pre-show were... Ugh. The front load, the bit of the game showed that this uh, Noitu Love was the protagonist of the previous game. Though, yeah, this is mostly just set in the same world. Though I am curious if they will show up, since there seems to be a lot of well time travel shenanigans going on that they might get thrown back into this time or forwards. <laughs> okay, we just don't don't know how. And apparently Marco's books already have scribbles, and hello, <laughs> Castlevania much? Okay, this is like an inverse of that elevator fight in Order of Ecclesia. Yeah. Yeah, 
and I think uh, Marco may have a visit from Dracula later today. I don't think Dracula would take handy to have their castle compared to a clock tower. <laughs> Now the scissor man they would very much like this clock tower. Yep. Ow. I think you're thinking of the wrong person here. Yeah, oh, I'm wait, thinking I'm... of the clock tower game series. Definitely the wrong character. You used the wrong name. Scissor man. Yeah, he's just called Scissor Man, yes. Yeah, that, that's what Caesar I said, is... I'm pretty sure. You were talking you about Dracula's. <laughs> Yep. You said Edward Scissorham. Yeah. <laughs> but both have scissors, just one have scissors for hands, literally. There we go. <laughs> and that's uh, darn death done. Oh, hello. I can't you just talk. Of... Warn you all, viewers. She's. And palms are rather thick in this one. Uh, really? We've got scholar darns up there? Or priest darns? Is it Marco? Okay. Oh, no! <laughs> yep, uh, really? <laughs> Do we need to have this up or pass through or something? I think I learned something about doing stand guillotines recently. Oh? I think I learned when they were last time used. And when was that? 1970. Okay. There. And I think it was in France? Am I wrong? Okay, hello. Uh, uh -oh. a werewolf in London? It... Uh, right. it says Cyberus. Yep. Where, where does it say that? Uh, on its back, on the side. Oh, uh, there. <laughs> You're funny, a cybernetic Cerberus. <laughs> Hence the pun, Cyberus. I need you all, you all. Dish it's cheesy! I guess very extra cheesy cheeseburger, I guess. <laughs> yeah, the cheeseburger that's more Buddha than burger. That actually done tasty. I would have like some spice and Ah right. Yeah. Do you have plenty of spices out here that the uh, Gouda mix well with here? And the Gouda doesn't will well with? Uh, good thing I accidentally found this bit about with the shields. Yeah. Okay, you just put that down with a right click. Uh, hello. I think yeah, that's a good question, Marco. They all ask where the other two heads are. <laughs> now, it, it had at least two heads on the machine itself. Like one well, mutt and one, one wolf. Or one hound and one wolf. <laughs> really? Uh, hello? Uh, really? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Swords. Okay, <laughs> this is certainly a change up. Okay, so the background determines what sort of attack is coming. And we just have to bonk him <laughs> to bring the attack. The old style is damn very iconic class still, but the tone is very different. Yeah. Still very interesting with the bosses. Bonk. And now he's getting pissy. Oh.
Okay, that doesn't seem to do anything against those attacks. But yeah, this guy definitely has good feel for humor and just bosses. Yeah, and attention to detail, it does look rather Victorian, like we have a nice age, piano, tasteful new statues, because a big thing back then, chandeliers. Yeah. Okay. And dialogue is invented then. <laughs> okay, another C rating. At level 3 star. Oh. Wait, was that the... the oh, oh, hello, Doppelori. Wait, you're also fighting these things? That was her... We had yeah, we had reports she was around here, so it's good we, can, we have you close by. But why was she attacking those darns? Also, that little... That character that showed up during the intro bit, that looked a bit like one of the characters in Iconoclasts. One of the bosses, the one with the massive helmet. That we actually never got to see the identity of it. Yep. This one here. Yeah, but that one was more... Sci-fi tech. This one was more... Organic, actually. Yeah. Uh, it, yep. Really? You might have been like... Wait. Cucumbers? Use, uh, what? It's long? Are these supposed to be some sort of coppers? Then I well, still don't get what's with the cucumbers. <laughs> but they're supposed to have a bowl shaped head, not. Uh, <laughs> Geisha darns. Uh, Geisha? I thought it was a Geisha. Uh, yeah, just it's different saying. Yeah, different pronunciation. Okay, they deal a lot of damage with those things. Yep. Okay. Yep. You have, hello. Yeah, hammer time in Tokyo. That's a very good bit. I'm not sure. Hammers were ever used as a weapon in Japan. Like, yes, they had clubs. Wow. Actually, war clubs, but hammers? Okay. There we get that. Okay, I need some help. There, thank you. Uh, jellyfish. Okay. Uh, electric jellyfish. Okay. <laughs> Apparently, Zoda doesn't need oxygen. <laughs> okay, again, what's with the... What's with the cucumber boomerang? <laughs> okay. Do you know? Kappas love cucumbers. Okay. If I no, remember hello. right. Ow. No. It's kind of weird for... I don't think cucumbers were native to Japan at all. Or was it? I never forgot to where the cucumbers originated from. Oh, damn it. Taking quite the hit, but still managing. There we go. Okay, good music as well. And hello there. Sorry, sir. What now? The freely bamboo traps. Okay, I think I'm just better off mostly running away here. Okay. Okay, what's next? That Doppelori is next. Relo, what? Relo Doppel. Oh, Doppelori is her last name. Okay. 
right. Yep. Come here, you. Yep. Okay, that's a new attack. Well, did he heal good stuff? Uh, our, this, with, uh, with the showcase, we only got to the Victorian era part at the start of it. Uh. Okay, might actually lose this. It makes Marcus prediction correct, but try to prove him wrong. Oh, uh, hello, company. Yep. Uh, okay, I think we just bugged. I think we just died when we were moving to, a sn to another <laughs> phase. Wait, we get sent all the way to the start? Oh, no, okay. Uh, why is the game running slower now? Oh, yeah, give me a mo if escape isn't escape. Enter. Oh. Uh, let me put up task manager. Okay, nothing is nothing is drawing much. So why is the game running slow? Just press escape to quit the tiger screen. Uh, enter. Okay. I'm not sure why the game is suddenly running slower. Weird. Okay, hopefully that'll fix itself. Yeah, for otherwise this could be come of a problem. Actually, maybe it's see it, checkpoint. There, maybe that'll reset it. Okay. Huh. Okay, what if I just quickly restart the game then? Yes, yes. Uh, let's see, it's a glitch. You were about to enter the water, aka second phase, and died, so you moved as fast as in water. Okay. Let's do a quick restart then. Okay. And I, yes, this I is the desktop this. that's being shown because for some reason OBS doesn't want to screen capture the game anymore. All right, that was a quick look up there, Mark. There we go. Okay, that was just weird. Okay, that part does kind of make sense that he kept the because you died immediately cutscene. Okay, it's going to rush past all of these. Also, I like that the timer is just counting up, not down. So you're not time limited. And yeah, Riolo Doppelori. Uh, being seen in a bad game, but it did count up. So if you hit five minutes or something, you died. Or something like that. There you are. Okay, here we go. Audience interference. <laughs> really? <laughs> uh, oh, hello. Are we working together now? It looks like. Okay. Good. Oh wait, it's just the same thing without its helmet this time. Yep. 
Uh, okay. <laughs> What's with the eggs, parasites? Get off. Okay, how do I get those off? Oh, there we go. Okay, now it's going to the other side with its flamethrower. There we go. Let's beat the freaking thing down. <laughs> okay, I'm guessing another C? <laughs> no, just a plain old D. <laughs> okay, oh. let's see. Uh, Marco, this is a cool boss fight. I still can't believe this an iconic class is made by one person. Yeah. They even made coppers. You're gonna die. Knew it. It's a glitch. I still gotta play Iconoclast. class. You get to that. It's a it's a blast. Yep. Was that a darn it? <laughs> now it's the Wild West. We should have iconic class on our YouTube channel. Yeah. Okay. There won't be much left of the modern city if this goes on much longer. The weapon you carry is a combo battery. As you hold down attack, a beam is created uh, towards the crosshair. When you connect the target, you will be aiming the next line from that target. With luck, you can pause to remind yourself of the controls. Okay. Really? Indian darns? Or Native American uh, darns? And cactus darns? Okay, so... It works like a sort of chain lightning thing. Okay. Yep. Smart guy, huh? Yep. Oh, I see. Tie to them and get around the shields. I think you heard me more, more say like Dawn Sheriff like like that. <laughs> you know, like Dawn Cactus, Dawn Sheriff. Again. You know what? No, I'm not gonna compare this game to uh, extra cheesy cheeseburger. It's an extra cheesy American pizza. <laughs> Dude, uh, uh, hello. <laughs> uh, I, I oh. Okay. okay. Elvis. Unsure. Conjuring decision? Conjuring the shields. Well, that's a very badly designed guitar. Okay, let's just focus on dodging and attacking when he throws those out. There. Okay, we need to use both at that point. <laughs> okay. Yep. Uh, okay, that can't be a good thing. Thing in the background? Yeah, that can't be good. I'll take that. A nuclear balloon? Missed my opportunity there. What would you even... Up, up, and there. Uh, let's not touch those. Yeah, I, I like that this guy's work is simple yet intuitive as well, like... Oh. It doesn't need much explanation. Yep, that's going to hurt. Uh, hello there. <laughs> uh, Don Mayo? Uh, oh, I see there. We need to hit that orb. Uh, he... 
They're a strong arm. Oh. Okay, what do we need to do to hurt him here? Just uh, say it's... Oh, I think I see what's... There, 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 and... Okay, that's how we do it. Okay. Ow. Yeah, we're all supposed to shoot that ball thing just at the right angle. Yeah, we need to connect the top and bottom. And his, he, since he's blocking the path... There we go. Yeah, that, that's what I meant, the right angle. Okay, big swing. <laughs> You need to make sure you shoot through that and the other thing in the behind it. There. The oh, alright. Because I was a bit wrong then. Yeah, we need to connect we needed to connect the upper and lower part, but since he was blocking the direct path, though we had to connect it through the orb on the arm. Wait. Wait, cest. Uh, I have no idea what that is saying, or even trying to say. Is there a number? Cest oh. ne pas. Yeah, I don't think we get the reference on this one, but we can. Yeah, that, 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 hello. <laughs> It's a sleeper break, man. What oh, did you see? What it, I forgot it said. I missed the other what that was, what it was, was called then. Um... Okay, yeah, we, we broke realized. whatever that was. Ah. I think the main villain's name might actually be a pun. Like, like Donakil... Donakil's damnation, to... like, that wasn't <laughs> obvious already. Yeah, I think there is a phrase, donations and damnations. A phrase not often used anymore, but I feel like it's a pun towards that old phrase. For swearing. Yeah. And, oh, hello there, piece of other. Hey, oh, Pixel, are you yeah. doing well? There we go. Just need to get the right angle there. Okay, the orb at the back regenerates. Oh, hello. Uh, <laughs> okay, that got close. Oh, Pixel, yeah. I am alright, he's just tired. Alright. Hey. Wait, I just realized. Did I accidentally summon Pizza Lover by. Mention this game is thick, thick as an extra cheese American pizza. Maybe. <laughs> I will confess, I haven't eaten American pizza. I've only seen it in movies and they look. For what I recall seeing it from 80s movies and such, it looks like. There I we would go. probably have it to eat for as they move for four or five days. Fantastic. That's for our next go. Oh. Okay. Mission <laughs> control just got knocked out, I think. Uh, let's see. How are you? Yo, pizza. Yes, hello. It is I. I'm all right. Yeah, ish, just tired. This looks chaotic. It is. Uh, did you what? Uh, been a blade guiding stars through DS. Uh, did you suplex a train? If you didn't, I am disappointed in all of you. We didn't get the suplex the train. <laughs> Okay. Wait, what what era are we in now? But yeah, basically, uh this game was made by the same person as Iconoclasts. And uh yeah, it's a very <laughs> hectic little fighter. Uh where basically uh parts of the city are getting turned into different time eras and well there's mad robots running around all over the place. <laughs> And apparently Holland sank. Yeah. Uh, uh, let's see. 
<laughs> no, no, just tired from Overwatch 2, Dark Souls, and just tired. Okay. And damn bored. Well, I think you'll be uh, less bored watching this. Zoda? Oh, uh, hello. The base was attacked, but it was averted, luckily. Unfortunately, they managed to make it, uh, make it off with Mr. Elmond. I'm sure the Dons will try to make us surrender because of this. But no need to lose hope. We've tracked him to an area uh, some way uh, beyond here, so please hurry. We have to stop Double Ori. Oh, hello. Okay, why do I get the feeling this bit is going to be about the 20th century something? Uh, <laughs> we have the pin spots again. Oh, the mask of the mask. Yeah, the mask had a less exact uh, extravagant hat. There we go. I beg your pardon. A less extra uh, extravagant hat. Theirs was much smaller. There we go. Yeah, this is about gangster era. I'm feeling the mask will offer you. Every month agrees with me. Is that Don a game character from the mask? Oh yeah, in that movie he had a huge yellow hat. Yeah, I think this is more 60s. Yeah, I mid mean, 50s probably. Yeah. That, it's going so hard we're forced into crouching and dodging. <laughs> we're being pressed against the floor. Okay. Now. Now we can still do those. Oh. We can still do our special attacks. There we go. Oh, hello. Okay. I, I, I like that this, the painting shake whenever this thing stops. This, this, this guy just has a great sense of just the detail and everything, huh? Uh, yeah, I, I hope they do more games. Oh, hello. Okay, oh, okay. Okay, they have a shield up until they get stunned by getting thrown around in here. There. And then this one. And here we go. Bonk. One more round. And there we go. Yeah. What's this one called? Hmm? There we go. Uh, what was what called? This one's... Um, they didn't get a name, so I'm guessing they're more mini-boss. And yeah, this is definitely Prohibition era, with all the barrels of XXX. You say that, but there are basically naked statues about. <laughs> Did you just get tricked by the game to be lewd? No. There's baseball. Are those giant tweezers that they're holding or something? I think that's just a cloth. Oh, uh, yeah, that's clothes. Oh, oh, hello. Damn it. There. There. Ooh. Oh, that takes out the entire thing. Yep. Hello. Okay. Attack, then quickly retreat. Oh, what's he up to now? Yep, yep. Simple charge across. There we go. 
Uh, this guy is great at making bosses and making them hectic and different, but also simple enough to easily figure out after just a few seconds. Hello, the, the grinning plus, the, the grinning four. A saxophone player who's dropping some hard beats. Okay. <laughs> like, I wasn't expecting to fight a jazz bar. Yep. <laughs> yeah, in some way, not really a chat too much for there's so much going on. Okay, that's one of them almost gone. I'm guessing we're going to get Miss. Oh, okay, we're going to finish you off. There we go. Drop the beat on them. <laughs> Are we going to get the violin player now? Nope, it's Mr. Jazz, my hands. And there. Also, just the, the 3D effect here is really nice as well. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Oh, okay. And another obstacle. Okay, let's quickly finish you off. There we go. And now only Mr. Violin remains. Okay. You drop him down. You drop the hoots, and we drop you. Was that a toaster on his head? It must have been his hair. A uh, robot with a receding hairline. Okay, we can't waste time. Let's move on. Okay. okay. No! No, we can't take a time to look at the chats. <laughs> uh, let's see, is that darn Jim Carrey from The Mask? I just realized that there is a shitload of games I got but still haven't played. That's cloth. His haircut was a toaster. <laughs> Yeah. Oh. Okay. I saw something from Pizza Lover earlier. So it's got, got, the board got nothing to do or nobody to play with. Ah, yeah, I know that feeling. Yeah. Okay, at least you can watch us and enjoy the game secondhand. Let's see. Mr. Almond is around here somewhere. It looks really dangerous here, though. Are you sure about this? Well, I suppose we have to. Yeah, and who was that who ran in? Yeah, that was Doppel Lori. I said, what are these? Robot wigs? Robot clouds? No winds. A bad situation. I don't know. Sure, that's coal or something else. Probably hot metal. Man. Oop. Okay, I'm, I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be future stuff or something. Or in there their term, in a something from the past. Uh, hello. Distant past. Uh. <laughs> okay. Zombie darns. Okay, get rid of you quick. There we go. Put your other eye out. Okay. Hello. Uh, yeah, this is this is definitely future stuff. Yeah, uh, but again, 
Remember what year it is. It could be what they had for like 100 years ago. Yeah. I'm, I get the feeling that Big Darn was maybe a reference to the first game or something. Yeah, but I don't think only if this is supposed to be like the first game as, as well, but... Again, we cannot play the first game due to... Well, we can, as but it it's, earlier, it's just so freaking small of a screen. Yeah, like, the first PS stream he compared it to a Game Boy... A, a Game Boy screen. Yo, hello. And again, when he sent me the screenshot, I didn't notice it uh, after a few moments. I was wondering why did he send me a screenshot? What's with this screen? I don't see... Oh... Then I look at them instead and then finally realize there's a tiny screen hidden by all the screens. What are these supposed to be? Uh, okay, from... Uh... Uh, oh, hello! Gravity keeps sw sw yeah, switching here. Let's see here from Marco. No, this is Willy Wonka Shocker Factor. <laughs> no. No! Oh, hello there. Most definitely not. Yeah, game is called Devolved, so it's probably from the recent past. Yeah, Devolution, not Devolved. Yeah. Uh, Devolution, but still, uh, I'm uh, might be guessing that this might be by recent uh, past. If that makes sense, recent past. Okay, what are we supposed to do here? Just beating on it doesn't do anything. The bombs do also do nothing. I think it, we do have something. We do have to do something with the bombs. Let's see. Place shields. Wait, burst attack. Oh. Uh, spin. Okay, it's just the attack, charge, edge ball. Throw towards cursor. Hold one by enemy. Okay. So are we supposed to throw those back at it? Okay, I I'm not getting what we need to do here. It's obviously something with these bombs. Are we supposed to put... make them land... on the ground where it goes? Every time we pass through that is when gravity swaps. I I don't get it. Okay. Into the boss? Yeah. I'll be careful what we're doing. That's what I've been. It, what I'm trying, but the throwing doesn't seem to work. Yeah, just doing that also doesn't work. has been a very clear sign what you're supposed to do, but... Ooh. Yeah, I don't... I don't... I absolutely do not get it. Okay, there we did something. Wait, I'm going to electrically charge the bomb, then throw it back. It could be that, yeah. Okay. But how do we do that and make that happen? Hmm. Okay, that... I'm okay. still not getting how to do this, but... It's happening, yeah. at least. 
Yeah, yes. What are we doing to make that happen? Mm. At the moment, it feels like we are defeated the boss by accident. So it shows that arrow that we're supposed to do it, but okay, that is. I'm guessing it has to do with that throw it. move, but. Yeah. Uh. But how to do that throw move isn't clear. Really, we need to do this bit again. We couldn't put a, a checkpoint in front of the boss. Pizza lover. Okay, wow, that was some flashing lights. Uh, yeah, that was kind of a, a lot of flashing. Okay. Maybe we need to have an electric warning on this one. And, oh, hello there, Lazarus. <laughs> oh, hello there. <laughs> I just get my big bird. Uh, welcome. Uh, <laughs> how are you doing? Uh, uh, yeah, playing some uh, Noi to Love 2 Devolution, which is, well, very chaotic, as is very clear. Okay. Yeah. There, there. Okay, now this thing again. How, how exactly do we do that throw move? It shows the arrow, but how are we supposed to throw it at that point? Yeah, we're Maybe. out forming ourselves. So, so when we have been able to throw it into that, the, when we do take damage, when we do it. But there must be another way to do it without hurting ourselves. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. Now, if you want chaotic, try a fight in Final Fantasy XV in tight quarters. <laughs> no, I'm not bitter. <laughs> I, I, how do we do that? It's not the throw or something like that. Uh. Wait, let me lick the fight. We reverse the gravity. No. It's, be uh, no, yeah, it's it because I'm falling through. Yeah, I just realized. We, we, we need, need to, to hit play. it or something. But yeah, when it's electrifying it like that, it's it's preventing us from acting. Yeah, yeah. or it seems when we hit it, change polarity as well. Mm. Yeah, this boss fight is actually confusing. I'm guessing we need to jump towards it or something and hit it down, but when it's causing the shocks like that, it's going to interrupt that. So something is being weird here. Or maybe if I put the shield up? No. <laughs> I, I do not get this. I do not get what we're sp specifically supposed to do here. Like the best I can think of is the throw, but that doesn't seem to work. Yeah, so far we only don't hit it by accident without knowing how we did it. Yeah. This is not good design. Okay. I'm just playing going to look it up. 
Uh, let's see. Yeah, we don't even know the dude's name. I don't to, know the game uh, is the name. Is it supposed to be a mini boss? State. Is it stage six or seven? Let's see. Uh, da, da, da. Okay. Boss guide. Let's see. Put a drop electron and check it. Yeah, the problem is if we try to get close to it, we just get shocked. So that's Cyberus. That's stage four. No. Sleeper Breaker Man. No. Uh, the Grinning Four. Closer. The Megadarn. No. All right. Uh, let's see, mini boss janitor. Okay, who, who builds a janitor robot with anti grab electric balls? Uh, let's see, move to the center, fire to bot. Okay, easy enough to bot. Garbage duty, opening, moving to an opening drops an anti uh, gravity reversed ball. After a couple of seconds, the ball starts sending electricity left and right. Uh, ta -ta -ta. Okay, this is actually how you hit him. Crouch by the opening, he is. He is not at, or at the center. Wait for the ball to start sending electricity, then... Uh, then... Oh, I see. Okay. That's why it explodes prematurely. That's how we do it. You're not supposed to try and hit the stupid thing. I was sort of right. Okay, still right. That was not as intuitive as other bosses have been so far. Yeah, so I was kind of right, but I was suspecting we were to use those arrows there for something, the gravity. So I was right on that part. Yeah, we're just dropping them too early each time. Oh, hello there, big boy. And goodbye. Okay, me. Oh. Okay, what's going on here? 2888 Soda? Oh, hey. Come back here, you. What the? Uh, hello. Uh, game show? <laughs> Ow. Okay, air show. Oh. <laughs> okay, so basically a boss that makes TV reality. Uh, let's see. See that fight just reminds me of Sonic 3 and Knuckles. Death Egg Zone Act 2 boss also has a gravity inversion mechanic. Okay. Okay. The checkpoints here could be a little bit better, but this game is short, so it is a bit more forgivable. Okay. Yeah, I'm been. kind of doubtful that we finish it today. Now we'll see how quickly we are done with this. Yep. Yeah. That's done. Actually, I don't think I... we need to find yep. yeah. right. Once I'd said it was two hours, Morphe checked out and said max five. Okay. So, yeah. So, this is some sort of TV obsessed version of Hell 9000. Okay, game show again. Jump over. News. Really? Okay, that's a really show, uh, short window. Okay, air show, which is, drops up two bombs. News again. Up, up. <laughs> We're running a crap. We're running across the news scroll. <laughs> okay, that's funny. I wonder what the news scroll was saying. 
Yeah, not really important. Sports. <laughs> this guy is just so freaking creative with his stuff, huh? Yep. Made a mistake there. One more should do. Now. One more. Okay, ball gets kicked, bounces around a bunch, explodes. There we go. You're, it, uh, oh, hello. Yep. Yep. Really now they're going with audio instead. <laughs> okay. There we go. Consider your show cancelled. For noise complaints. <laughs> Uh. Okay, let's try it. And there's Mr. Elements. Okay, just blow him out of that thing. And land the face first. <clears throat> uh, let's see, <laughs> Lasher's cancel culture is a scourge. Uh, runs, of course there's a face through. This is a really clever boss, yeah. Uh, if you've never heard of it before, Lazarus, I would really advise you to take a look at the game called Iconoclast. I, I would consider that my game of the year, or the, the game that I played of the year last year. I'm pretty sure it came out way before that. Uh, let's see, Marco. It said something about a guy not being able to talk because he was buried in gravel and about a talk show. <laughs> and you saved Augustus Gloop. Okay. Hmm, fantastic work, Zoda. Once again, you save the day, and... Where is this? It looks like some apocalyptic future. The rest of the city so far has turned to place of the past. I thought this was some sort of turning stuff to what's been, not what will be. Perhaps it's not Lori making the city into places of her own creation. She's so malic maliciously paradoxical. Oh, speaking of... You people. <laughs> oh ha, the villain shows her face. You idiots, I can't control time. What's the matter with you? But, but... These darns don't even listen to me. You were turned back on and now darns are running around town. I don't know who turned me back on. But I've come to think that I was set free to act as a diversion. Whoever you're looking for, it's not me. The base. Something big is going on over there. Let's get going, Zoda. I'll call for transports. Okay. It's a simple story, but already? <laughs> okay. We're, we're just an hour in. Yep. Well, fuck that guy in particular, I guess. What are all those towers? Lots of them seem to be appearing all over the entire world. How could all of these have possibly been built underneath the city? Darn forces have barricaded themselves in the dome of the Peacekeeper's HQ. I bet we can find the source of this up there. Let's do this. Yep. Okay, just come crashing in. I'm so much for Peacekeeper's, you lot are. Stop cowering and start fighting. Okay. Nope, nope, nope. Darn trash services never working when you want them to. Okay, what do I need to hit on you? He has a darn face. I just need to... Okay, I just need to keep feeding on it. Like a dip. Hello. New things again. I don't know if he's beating or feeding. <laughs> yeah, we just passed the hour mark, like Mark said. <laughs> okay, accidental pun. Up oh, here we go again. 
<laughs> Coming in like the fucking Kool-Aid man if they were a garbage truck. <laughs> okay. There we go. Oop. Come on. Get, get me out of this, Prince. There we go. Nope. Now, let's see. If every boss a vehicle or something. No, we had Dracula earlier and death. <laughs> In a sailor and a dance band, no, not that, in song band or something. Yeah, a jazz band. <laughs> We're taking a lot of damage. Okay. Oh, that's the logo, the peace dome? Yeah. Upside down peace sign? Hello. I love breathing the cold air. There wasn't much of that at in 20, uh, 2288. In 2288, the world was overheated and cities were adapting to the water. It didn't change much until 2388, during the uprising of the New Dawn. There were no threats to humans anymore, they had nothing to resist with. Dr. Tango, what are you doing with that machine? The last evilmatic in existence. The last opportunity to retrieve one in history. The human evolution is not some toy, it's playing God. Oh, I don't worry about the human evolution. Don't mess around, what are you intending? Evolve yourself smart? I don't abide by your stupid little evolutionary rules. I'm the literal carbon copy of an aging machine. What? Playing God? I confuse with this machine and become a God. I just be playing with myself. Racing? Racing, indeed. How could you develop a way to travel through time and locally? I didn't. What? It's the year 2888. It's not 2288. These magnificent towers you can see all over is our crowning achievement. They read previous states of matter and restore areas and people to what they once were. I mean, actual time travel is ridiculous. Uh, creating 2288 and all life that existed you know, then was all f for this machine here. My other half, who Zoda destroyed, created me to be viable for the evil Matic. I became an employee of the darling peacekeepers to track it down. Other half? What? When I found where it was, I let all hell loose to distract the peacekeepers. It was the perfect year to find the last Evomatic and also avoid the legend, Noi to Love. Without him, who could stop me? Zoda Rap will. <laughs> Admittedly, she survived every place I led her to. And suddenly the Polori Free didn't sidetrack her much. But she is not Noi to Love. Okay, I'm... I'm confused. Is this supposed to be 500 years in the future and this is all just a... Uh, experiment or something it seems like that that uh, they recreate it like it is in the future apparently just everything got recreated not time traveled apparently yeah but she is not noi to love it seems our conversation is over i will show you perfect program fusion Wait, so, so this is all supposed to be some sort of matrix or something? Ooh. Tango. Okay. Okay, let's see what you do or can do on bounds. Ah, that works. Ah. But brings us right into the range of that attack. Okay. Uh, 
<laughs> You're fighting the Firefox logo. <laughs> okay, but with purple instead of... <laughs> okay... I guess in max 5 hours is awful completionists. Could be. Now yeah. finish that off. There. Okay, let them get an attack off. And there. Okay, phase two. Look like at Ida from Owl House there. Okay. I was being too, was just a too right then, I wanted to. Uh, what the? Oop. Oop. Okay. Ow. Okay. Let's, let's keep uh, destroying her earrings. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Marco smash. And then pizza, what he said. Okay. Still not fully getting what was with the story on this. Let's give this another look through. Okay, there wasn't much of that in 22 3. Mm -hmm. Overheated, adapting to water. Yep. Yeah. No sweats to humans anymore. They had nothing to resist with. Okay. At last, Evo Matic. These things were a big thing in the first game, the one that you can download and place at the resolution of a time of a stamp. Uh, the last opportunity to retrieve one in history. I think that is a. Yeah, this doesn't feel like it's properly translated. Hmm. Right. Oh, you skipped over what you said there. Hmm. What year it was. Yeah, 2888, that's it. Let's see. Uh, but Mark, you missed out on Dragon Waifu Boss in DS when Star was playing it. Uh, I'll rewatch the stream, you do so, okay. Hmm. I got. They're still not fully getting off and what's. Let's just kick her ass and then we'll try and figure out what the hell is going on. Yeah, like, we had mysteries. We were pondering on the iconic class, but. Iconic class handled that whole mystery and all that way better than this. This one just makes us more confused. And it's a shorter game. Yep, got too close. Okay. Now when the blue orbs flash red like that, they're going to strike with lightning, so we want to get away. There, because they can't reach us on the other side. There we go, phase one done. Yeah, the boss fights are still cool. Okay, now we have a better understanding of the attacks. You just get between those. With those, just... We need to find a way to jump over them. There. Okay, yeah, they're at the lowest in the middle, so that is where we jump over that. Did we just stab her with our own ears? Up. Okay, that is all to open up. Good. Open her up for actual damage.
Okay. There. Okay. Okay, the color that it glows gives away what attack is coming next. Or the gem in the foreheads. What color that glows gives away the attack that is coming. Okay. Okay, that's one down. That's two down. And that is almost three down. Okay. Nope. There. That. Okay, should be able to finish this off in this round. Oop. There. Come on. There we go. Phase three. Nope. Yep, phase three. Or... Okay, what? Uh... What are you... It... Okay. Okay. Can't even tell if I'm doing damage or not. Okay, these side specials are pretty good at make pretty good uh, dodges as well. Okay, we can get hurt by the backswing of the axe. Yep, and that. I should have... Did they have a health bar for the boss? There. <laughs> Guess we don't need one. What are you? Some sort of... Super Darn? Okay, are we going to get a better explanation now? It, again, just a D. <laughs> Let's see. Normal Mega Man boss defeated exploding. Elements. Mm, the towers have all disappeared, as well as the cool winds. So this is 2888. I suppose it doesn't really matter to us at this point. I was given some interesting information just now. The cold industrial areas that appeared uh, is where Darnicus hit his base. We didn't know it where it was before. So when Dr. Tango talked about a new Darn, maybe some Darns remained? I mean, after Darnicus was defeated. They could have built up their strength in hiding since we couldn't find the base. But then, who was Tango exactly? No matter, whoever she was, she unknowingly saved us. She restored the world as it, uh, as it is to us in order to get the Evomatic. But you stopped her and now we are left with peace and the location of the base. It's all, it's all good. Now, we should rest. We have a city to rebuild and samurais to calm down. <laughs> okay, I, I'm guessing Tango wasn't a Dorn. Maybe they were an alien or something. It didn't even be open-ended. <laughs> we'll probably become like a tourist attraction with cowboys running around. 
<laughs> okay, maybe she was the daughter of Darnicus? I don't think so. Oh, a nice work, Zoda. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, it's you love, though. <laughs> okay, credits like uh, an old silent movie, scratches and all. <laughs> Right. Yeah, <laughs> Clashers. Who needs explanations or contacts? Just beat everything the hell up. Okay, yep. Joachim Sandberg for art, uh, audio, and the game. Principal testing, Dustin Gunn. And, uh, okay, Gustav Kilman, Mjö Longstrom, Graham Goring, Kyle Pulver, David Sandberg, David Walton, and David Saltman for other testing, or just general testing. <laughs> Guest boss design, Jimmy Chang. Okay, this is just them having fun across the different eras, recreations. And thanks to my family, Politische Bernhardt, action games, great bosses, and the computer mouse. <laughs> Additional thanks to all those who, who spurred me on. Okay, game created using Multimedia Fusion 2. Okay. Konjak, Konjak.org. That is also where you can download Noita Love 1. Though, I'm guessing, besides the wolf, this game doesn't actually have that much connecting it to the original. And, okay, this was made in 2008. <laughs> okay, Marco. Uh, I want to make credits like this for my game. <laughs> okay, I'm I'm looking up freaking I'm freaking up yeah I'm looking up the freaking TV tropes page on this <laughs> because we just what the utter hell. Oh, yearbook class of 2288. Oh, Zoda Rap, Mr. Element, Relo Dapalori, and Doctor Tango. Darn, Darn Wars, Darn Marksman, Darn Nitwit. <laughs> I was right how they were named. Darn Scoundrel, Darn Preachy, Darn Scrap, Darn Bastard. Because that bastard sword. They're all bombs. Darn Chikusho, Darn Pakimono, Darn Kappa, okay. Darn Nit Dimwit. Okay. Jellyfish, Darn Prick, <laughs> Amoeba, Darn Eagle. <laughs> okay. Darn Falcon, Darn Hawk, Darn Denim, Darn Fly. For a nice guy. I got it wrong. Darn Goomba, Scout, Overrider, Guardian. Then Worker and Warrior. Okay, going to show the bosses with this as well? Or just the minions? <laughs> ah, there. Skycrawler, Mordecai Fluke. That's Marco. Darn Prick reminds me of the West of Loathing. <laughs> the Grin Reaper, Cyberus. <laughs> yep, O oh, to Joy. Ode to Joy. Poundalita. <laughs> the Sea Serpent, Darn Fab. Uh, Grinsley Gumsboro, Darn Reckless. <laughs> Grandpa, you're into the yearbook. <laughs> Sleeper Brakeman, Darn Deco, Sailor Man. Okay. Petunia. Uh, Watkins, Giuseppe, and the boy. Okay, here comes the boy. The drums. Oh no! <laughs> Omega Darn, Janitor. Tango Source. Then just the truck. <laughs> A Darn truck? 
I mean, he has a long face. Time to penultimate tango and penultimate tango. And then ultimate tango and shady arms, what? Vaults, shadow vaults. Oh, Are one. these secret bosses? And you? What? Okay, that was fun. Yeah, do I will sadly say I think I liked Iconoclast way more. Yeah, this was obviously a much smaller project as well. And that's unlocked reload modes. Hello. And records. Okay, what is this reload mode? Let's take a look at that. Because she was kind of a. Yeah, she was literally just a distraction, really. Let's see. Uh, actually, back, back, extra. Records, spec moves. Uh, okay. Oh, wait, what? Why is there multiple of. Okay. I'm guessing the second row is for hard modes. And. Okay, Relo has their own. What? What is the third rank then? Extra hard modes? Hmm. Ah, Relo. Let's have a look at this. Okay. Is it just the same game that we're playing as her instead, it looks like? Makes the bolts a lot more fitting. Okay. And so Marco, okay, for YouTube, add one of the people in chat who <laughs> will picture where you is. Okay. Yeah, this is just a mode where we're shooting instead of uh, brawling. Okay. Yeah, uh, no, the heck is this weird? We finish in the, with one game in one sitting. <laughs> yeah, okay. Now, let's like, call on that and let's Haven't see. that happened before? Uh, I'm not actually sure. Let's see. And I made... No. Okay, I didn't make sidebar specifically. I just pulled a picture from uh, the internet, uh, from Google real quick, and put uh, a black square over that for the sidebars. <laughs> okay, uh, let me turn that off. And let's see, where's... Out oh, there it is. Okay, turn that one off as well. And let's just have a freaking look at... TV, what, three, no, what TV Tropes has to say about this. So, let's see. New yeah. tab. Know what you love, Devolution TV Tropes. Just, what the heck is going on with all of this? Uh, there. Okay. Yeah, but we need, uh, as Lasher said, we need explanations or context. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, he, he said, who needs? Uh, let's see. Can oh. I even... Sure. I don't think... Oops. I wasn't able to share... Can I maybe do it as a browser source or something? Let's see. Browser. Um, yeah, that probably won't work. Uh, that's the display capture. Uh, let me see. Uh, display capture. What would you say this? Window capture, but, um, that's what I'm supposed to get, I think. Uh, unless Helium gets home in time without being in full Kuma, there might be no st st evening stream, but if he does come home in time without full Kuma or anything else, there could be a stream uh, this evening, but they also kind of against it. Yeah, yeah, since I'll be going out for dinner in about two hours-ish, I doubt I'll be even back in time for a second stream. So for now, let me just copy that. Yeah. Paste it so, onto this. This was is it's not impossible, but it's unlikely. But we, but if if, if if like basically if the stores are line, there see. might be one. 
Naughty Love is an indie game series consisting of two side-scrollers developed by Konjak. The first game is a mix of an action game and, and a platformer, whereas the second one eschews the platform elements to make a significantly faster-paced action game. The plot of the games is relatively simple. The first game is set in the future, pits the antagonist Noi to Love and his mission control Lori against the mad scientist Professor Darnica's Damnation and his army of mecha mooks, the grinning darns. The second game, subtitled Devolution, takes place further in the future and pits Noi to Love's die staff counterpart and action girl Zoda Rap and their allies Mr. Almond and Dr. Tango against the grinning darns who've mysteriously risen again. And this time, Reload uh, Lori is leading them. First game can be downloaded on Conjects serve, uh, not server websites. <clears throat> also, let me just click away so Drakia doesn't have to look at the red bars around everything. Okay, for such a really short game, they really put a, quite a lot in uh, the art and everything as well, huh? Yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, well, both games have a strong emphasis on combat. The first one has a fair amount of puzzle platforming elements to go with the actions. Well, the second sequel is more straight up beat 'em up. Okay, after the ends. The sequel takes place about half a millennium after the rejuvenated arms wiped out the unprepared humans and laid waste to Earth. The only place, uh, the only reason places 12288 are there is because Tango recreated them in her bid to gain limitless power. Okay, that's what's going on. Uh, yeah, because I believe Konjak isn't, a, Konjak actually isn't a native speaking, uh, isn't a native English speaker. I almost got that real wrong there. Uh, so there, yeah, it is to be expected there to be some uh, grammar stuff and such. Uh, let's see. The, both, the final level in both games is the Peacekeeper Headquarters being invaded by the Darns. Okay. How, how Zoda plays? She, she has innate but limited psychic powers, but is nimble enough to squeeze her way into some tight gaps. Things that Noita himself couldn't do without an Evo Matic nearby. Okay. Uh, used as a plot point in the sequel, in addition to the Darns being back, the areas visited have devolved from the modern day to other time periods. This is Tango's distraction while she prepares the Evomatic. Her hidden towers are recreating the past and have already recreated 2288 to throw the heroes off her trail. Okay. So yeah, basically, the, uh, the apocalyptic area yeah, was the true time area. Um... <clears throat> And what specifically did the towers do then? Like, it wasn't time travel, but it somehow reprinted periods from time or something? Like a, <laughs> like the uh, replicators from a Star Trek, but supersized and writing out a whole time period. <laughs> okay. Uh, another side, another story. After beating the evolution as Zoda, you can play the story again while playing as Rilo de Polori. The plot shows her beating all the bosses so uh, Zoda faced, including the sea serpent that clearly bastard her way in Zoda's story. It's ended up tying into the main story by the end, though, where the two characters meet at the darn base and both uh, go different ways, with Rilo going to activate the base's self-destruction and fight a new boss. Okay... Uh, after beating the game is Relo, Almond becomes playable. Okay, so that's what the third line is, or the third line was. His story doesn't tie into the others, and since part of the plot revolves around Almond's capture, it's clearly non-canon. Uh, bad future. The year 2088, actual year the game takes place in, in the sequel, where the Darns have destroyed everything and Tango's taking over with her towers, partially fixed after Tango is destroyed. So yeah, basically, I'm guessing that means that yeah. <laughs> Actually, no. It was said that those towers popped up all around the the planet, so I guess they just somehow reprinted the entire planets. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Bit overkill. Uh, let's see. Bittersweet ending. Tango's gone. Her towers are gone. And with the Darn base discovered and destroyed in the past, the Darn uprising is averted. However, Relo is free to rebuild the Darn army and very much willing to do so. Okay. The sequel yeah, retroactively turns the ending of the first game into one. Sure, Professor Darnica's damnation was stopped, but unbeknownst to everyone, he set up his base's AI. Tango hers... Okay. The base I... Okay, so, okay, so, what we fought with the 
TV boss was actually her past self, sort of. Her original uh -oh. form, um, AI form. Uh, I'm guessing we would know who she was if we had played the first game. Perhaps. Uh, let's see, to spring up another darn army, you know, darn army attack. When she did, by taking the slow path, waiting Noitsu to be outlived, then destroying the world on the, you know, impeded. Uh, would very much count as a downer ending if it wasn't for the fact that doing this resulted in no working evil manix around necessary for her godhood ascension so long story short area localized time travel towers bring the lost evil manic under the hero faction's custody back after said hero is long gone infiltrate their ranks while springing up more towers into randomized times to keep him distracted etc leading into devolution okay Still not fully grasping it, but I, th I think we can just go with uh, they overdid it with tra recreating everything to ensure that the evil manic would still exist. I think it kind of makes sense for otherwise people who have noticed something was wrong. Yeah, like if there's only one city in ex existence, or well, then people would start asking where the hell did the rest of the world go. Yeah, like. It's an interesting game, but the story is rather... Confusing. <laughs> it's rather out there. Uh, let's see. Brick joke. In the first level of devolution, you have to duck behind trees as they get gunned down and fall in the water. After that segment, a darn dimwit attacks in a boat from the background. One of those waterborne trees takes him out so that you can progress. Okay. Actually, I, yeah, one of those trees did fall down. Some of them only got shot up a bit. Uh, let's see. Mm -hmm. In Zoda's western themed level, she fights Greensley, Gumsborough, and his nuclear arm, which breaks apart and flies off screen once he's destroyed. At the end of the level, his, hands, <laughs> his arm's hand shows up again in a freeze frame bonus, and Sleeper Brakeman's train trips over it. <laughs> okay, I missed that. <laughs> Okay. Let's see. Anything we missed here? Let's see. The Noitu games love game. The Noitu love games tend to have varying degrees of incredibly weird humor thrown in amongst the hectic action. Take for example the third level from the first one. You get attacked by zombie ro no robot zombies, a robot grim reaper, and exploding robot nuns on your way to psych psychotic musician O2 Joy's hideout in an old church. Uh, wait, isn't wasn't that in this this game that we just played? Because they're describing it as the first one. Then enter the church and get your ears blasted upon uncovering a massive zombie rave. You have to fight. Okay, and okay, so O2 Joy was a re a reappearance. Okay. When you finally get to O2 Joy, the only way to start the battle and hurt him incidentally is to completely suck at playing the piano. <laughs> okay. Elman's crawl animation is him inching along the ground like a worm. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'll probably play through this game on my own through the other modes just to see all the bullshit and such, but yeah. Uh, hello. Oh, right. <laughs> Despite being a plot important climax boss, Tango sources a very ridiculous fight. Yep, with the attacks with V Chalice. Let's see. Special mention goes to the news attack, where it's fairly uninteresting attack by itself. It's accumulated by odd headlines scrolling by man found not wearing proper footwear on asphalt, possibly riddled with painful gravel. People still don't appreciate the values of timeshare. Gorilla was found in natural habitat. I talk, but nobody listens. Okay. <clears throat> uh, yeah, just a, a fun but really weird game as well. Just... Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's actually take uh, one what? more look at a thing. What? The, okay, apparently, Pizza Lover is saying I accidentally called you Helium? <laughs> okay. Right. Okay, I started to wonder if uh, Pizza Lover has been uh, mishearing me a lot. Let's see. 
Legend of Princess, that is one that's also on his site. Also, nice picture. <laughs> Oh, okay, he's the younger brother of filmmaker David F. Sandberg. Okay, so that was the David Sandberg we saw in the credits. I assumed that they would be siblings, or at least family. And let's see, Solar Plexus and Hero Gast are unfinished projects. It, uh, oh, hel hello. He contributed it with artwork to Contra 4 and Shantae. Oh, All right. Hey. Uh, let's see, pizza. I might be mishearing you, might not be wrong. Uh, if I am mishearing, then I apologize. If not, then I guess not. <laughs> <laughs> mishearing is easy to do. Let's um, see. Lights out, uh, Annabelle's. Wait, they directed Shazam? Okay. <laughs> uh, the picture? Yeah, I'm guessing both of these guys are just uh, a bunch of jackasses, or weirdos. Okay. Just weeds! Uh, let's see. His no website is notable for being, being the first hit for X... Whatever the hell that means. <laughs> it's x crew What? What? It's not even a word. Uh, I've never heard of it or read it. Okay. Uh, I'm guessing... I'm, go I'm going to look this up on Steam quickly if those are upcoming projects or if they are just uh, abandoned projects, perhaps. And then we'll go look for someone to raid. So, let's see. Uh, Iconoclasts, store page. And let's see. Jokum Sandberg... Okay, no other games noted at the moment. Bifrost Entertainment, only Iconoclasts, Dangum. Okay, there's a bunch more stuff here, but they're more just a, a very open publisher, it seems. So, yeah, I guess we'll have to see when they release a new game then. But between this and Iconoclast, I would definitely mark myself as a fan of this guy. Yeah, they, uh, they do want to make good work. Just new to love series are rather confusing. Yeah. Let's see. Okay, so those are abandoned projects. Too bad about that. Yeah, Ivory Springs, that was original attempt at Iconoclasts. Mina of the Pirates. Let's see. Does it say anything about anything he might be working on? Doesn't look like it. Hmm. All right. For now, though. It... Okay. Why did it? Why did they jump to that? Okay. Uh, wait. I I need that. To... Where did it even? Wait. Where did it even go as a source? Uh. Uh, a window capture was yeah the window capture was that why did it jump to the other thing oh well now everyone knows that I was looking up recipes for onigiri aka rice balls anyways let's move on over so, here I'll open up the <laughs> the browser again move to twitch and let's see change the screen share so Drakir can see there we go no, from low to high, it seems that Whiskey Project just started a stream. Uh, They're, they'll be playing I can't see. Right. I can only see you and me. Oh, I clicked the wrong thing. Okay, my bad. Let's see, Whiskey Project with Baldur's Gate. They just must have just started because typically they have a few hundred viewers. Then we have Sour Walrus. Uh, let me just mute everything so I can take a peek. Lies of Pi. What is that? Okay, some sort of Dark Souls-like game. Or no, maybe not Dark Souls. Um, I'm not sure. Uh, anyways, Hisaya Rozier is playing Tauhu Project. Okay. Hex would probably want that, so I might... Actually, I think I'll just throw them the... 
a link to them real quick. There. And there. Okay. Uh, next up, we have Kiri Natsuyoko with Doom 2. Uh, ta -ta -ta. Ruffy Raccoon is playing Starfield. Edrim is playing Final Fantasy XIV. And Horatius the Dwarf is, <laughs> is streaming Fear and Hunger 2 Termina. Like, how many people are streaming that these days? And actually, let me check... <clears throat> Let me check chat. Uh, Lashvers rice balls? <laughs> Don't you mean jelly donuts? <laughs> Yay for old memes. Uh, Lashvers lies of pie is basically Bloodborne meets Pinocchio. Yes, that's a sentence I just wrote and that is generally true. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay, seems someone just popped in and left. Big three streams. Okay. Uh, let's see. Shall we look at recommended channels, or do you think any of these will do? Uh, let's see on recommended. Uh, let's see. We have actually not that many that rings a bell for me. We have Hamster of Wrath playing BattleTech. Is that game or table? Oh, that, okay, it's the uh, RTS like or turn-based strategy like. Casual I'm Dan Jones is playing Super Mario sixty four. Behaving Beardly is streaming Sea of Thieves. Oh, oh, they've got a bunch of viewers. It's uh, far outside our typical range. Uh, Mixolydia is playing Final Fantasy IX. Let's take a look there. Okay. Um, Mega G Wolf, Rogue Lillian, Baldur's Gate 3. Uh, Ruford with Ringwald. Revenge, uh, Revenge of the Patriarch. Okay. Okay, I must. I I'm guessing this is a, an old school uh, point and click or something. Hmm. Possibly. Uh, shall we raid Mixolydia? Uh, let's let's raid them. Yeah. Okay. Copy the name. Then we had to our place slash raid and paste. Uh, but yeah, that was definitely a ride. Or <laughs> um, <laughs> surprised it went that quickly. Okay, I'll I'll take a peek at Sour Walrus uh, with Lies of Pi myself a bit later. Uh, oh yeah, it's definite. I'm taking another look at it. It is definitely uh, a sort of mixture of Dark Souls and. Uh, what was that cybernetic Dark Souls like from some time ago? Uh, Beanie streamed it for a bit, but I'm completely blanking on the name. Unsure. I'll not be keeping track track of them. Yeah. Anyways, it's then. Track of Dark Souls games. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, Mortal Shell? No, not Cyberpunk either. Uh, the Breach or something? Like, I'm I'm going to look this up. This is going to annoy me. Uh, let's see, Lashers, I have oh, no idea, to be honest, my knowledge of these games is rather limited. Uh, that's a movie. Uh, I'd need to look around, I might run on, into it by accident or something, but for now though, uh, yeah, no second stream today, or un unlikely to be a second stream today, due to, well... <laughs> going out for dinner with the family and likely coming home too late for the stream or otherwise just <laughs> too food drunk to uh, make a good stream. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, anyways, thank you everyone who has been watching now or later. Thank you Pizza Lover, Lazarus and Marco and anyone else, of course. And as usual, thank you to Kier. You bring us always, my friend. And thank you all for joining this badness. Yeah. <laughs> Lashers, how dare you plan a pleasant evening? <laughs> okay. Uh, tomorrow we'll have to start up another game or two games. Uh, would you be up for a showcase Sunday or shall we still keep those at one of those every two weeks instead of one every week? I uh, say uh, every other week uh, to get some variety and also give us a chance to actually go through the side quests. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, 
then let's start the raids. Oh, oh wait, the, never mind. They have follower or subscriber only chat. That is always a nuisance. Okay, let then we're just going to Sour Walrus. That might that might uh, that, that might get me to uh, yeah, remember what game I'm thinking of. Let's see. Uh, oh wait, can't cancel the raids there. Okay, I thought I already canceled it. There we go. New raid for Sour Walrus. All right then. Uh, yeah. So next stream will be tomorrow, but until then, thank you all again for watching, and yeah, until then, have a nice day, and <laughs> once again, until then. <laughs> Peace everyone, and watch out for zombie seagulls. Yeah, I say that way too much, until then. <laughs>